Hello and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today I'm going to show you how to fix a crooked photo. We're going to do a quick black and white conversion on a photo, make it look its best, and then we're going to fix some of the perspective distortion that this image has. Let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started. Hello Pat, so glad you're able to join me today. All right, so up on the screen I've got this really great image that has all sorts of lines. So this is a particularly uh, difficult image to straighten and correct perspective. Let me show you the original here. There's the before, and you can see everything kind of leans in. This is probably shot with a wide angle lens. And we fixed it so everything stands upright and looks much better. So to do this, I'm gonna right click on the image to start, go to adjustments and revert this to the original. And I'll walk you through exactly what I did. We'll start by going over to the edit tab. We'll do a quick black and white conversion and really make this a nice contrasty black and white. Hey Jerry, so good to see you. Uh, crooked equals local expression for grumpy or unpleasant. Yeah, there's that as well. So I'm not sure if I can fix those kinds of crooked photos, but hopefully this kind where things are not quite standing upright, <laughs> we can help you with. All right, so let's go down to our black and white tool to begin and convert this to a black and white. And the initial conversion here is actually a pretty nice one, but we can make it a little bit better by manipulating our luminance sliders, which will um, make this a little bit more contrasty. So I'm gonna move these around until I get a look that I like. And you can see because in the original image here, let's take a look here at the original. There's not a whole lot of reds, yellows, or greens, but there is a little bit of blue. So once we get down here to the cyans and blues, this is where we're gonna start seeing a difference here. You see some of those highlights are getting a little brighter and go here to the blue tones and we see a little bit of opening up there. All right, so not a whole lot we can do here with the luminance sliders. Let's add a little bit of mid-tone contrast and a little bit of appearance of details with some structure. I'm gonna pull that up pretty significantly. I think that looks good. And the image still feels a little bit dark to me, so I'm gonna just go back up to Enhance AI and pull that Accent AI up a little bit. All right, so we've got a better looking image. This is a really cool geometric black and white, but everything is kind of leaning in. It's a little bit off kilter. Let's take a look at where we've come so far. There's the before and the after. Now let's go to our composition AI and fix some of these small problems here. Let's begin with our perspective correction. And I'm gonna try to level this here. I think that did a really good job at leveling this. You can see that line there right in the middle, that bar that's going right across this corridor got straightened very nicely. Now let's click that upright tool. And this is going to very magically correct everything. It bends everything back up and now everything is nice and straight. We can then, if we need to go in and refine the crop a little bit, I think some of these edges like this edge right over here on the left, that is a little bit distracting. I might floor and take care of that. So I'll go into my erase tool and I'll use the bracket key on my keyboard to make my brush a little bit bigger and then just paint this in over that little box on the floor click erase and we'll be done here in just a second there we go loading up should be done there we go almost it's taking its time to load <laughs> all right uh rust said a restart fix it that's good uh, Jerry said it's quite a long rest, long spell, no response. I'm really sorry to hear that there are buffering issues today. Hopefully um, that gets fixed. All right, now our erase tool did its job. That corridor looks much cleaner and I love the geometric lines of this image. It's a really quick and easy edit. All we did was do our black and white tool and then we went into Composition AI to do our automatic perspective correction. And I showed you how you can modify that if necessary. Hey, Julie, good to see you. All right, let me go ahead and show you a quick here before and after. It's a pretty dramatic difference, but it was really, really quick and simple to do. And now it's a much more powerful image. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial and how you can use the automatic perspective correction tools in Luminar AI to make your images look that much better. So. Have a great day. I will see you next time. If you have any questions, make sure you pop them into the comments below. If you enjoyed this session, minus the buffering issues, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. We always love seeing those. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone.